Yes, it is cold out there, and our wind, which has been from the north, well, now it's shifting around. Southerly, not too strong, 5 to 10 miles per hour for most locations, calm across much of central Minnesota this hour. Ah, look outside from our Valley Skycam. You're looking at NDSU and their uh, power generation area there, and boy, even the the hot air coming out of that, bowing to the cold tonight. Your temperature outdoors as opposed to indoors, it's 22 below. Feels like 41 below zero, though, now with that uh, nearly 10 mile per hour wind from the south. And here is a look elsewhere with actual air temperatures really chilly, near the 30 to 35 range along and north of Highway 2. That includes out to Bemidji and Wadena, pretty chilly as well. 29 below in Detroit Lakes. Uh, temperatures under clear skies and calm winds fall very quickly. Those are optimal conditions for cooling overnight, and that's what's going on. And now we add in the mix some wind that'll be increasing, and wind chills are going to be brutal. They're already kissing 50 below along Highway 2 and points north. Uh, wind chills here in Fargo, no picnic either. At 41 degrees below, Gwinter 44 is your wind chill. Cold air diving way down to the south, snow south of St. Louis. A few flakes out to the west, but for our valley here, crystal clear skies across the region. Now, as we go through the forecast period, we have more winter weather to contend with. I'll talk about a storm, a winter storm potentially as we head toward and through the weekend. Right now, it's located out by the Aleutian Islands. More on that in a moment. Right now, let's focus on the overnight hours. Now, I paused this at 1.30 in the morning, not because all of us will be outdoors, but this is when many of us will experience our lows as we go through the overnight. Uh, temperatures as cold as 35 to 40 degrees below zero. And factor in the wind chills, it will be brutal out there. But the south wind starts transporting the uh, warmer air our way, mixing our atmosphere and keeping us from getting quite as cold. In fact, temperatures will be warming with clouds and maybe a few snow showers in our westernmost counties. So if you're in Medina, down towards Oaks, a chance for a morning flake. Devil's Lake, you could see the same thing as your neighbors at Madoc could. Temperatures to start the day will be brutal cold, though, in central and western portions of Minnesota, with wind chills between 40 and 50 below at the bus stop. So bundle up your bus riders and you. And then as we head towards the midday hour, the warm-up is on. 11 below zero out there. Not bad uh, compared to recent standards. Wind chills still 30 to 40 below. But by the afternoon, no, we won't be above zero, but we will be well on our way in the right direction. Most of us in the single digits below zero and then slowly falling tomorrow evening. So as we go through the day, it does look like we'll have clouds building in. That's what helps warm us up. Temperatures go from 25 below to around six below. A wind chilly day, five to 15 mile per hour winds with a few gusts over 20 miles per hour possible with those south winds. Clouds across the board, temperatures in the single digits for most of us below zero. Even the rapids hunkering down here. Oh, trying to get out of that wind. Randall captured this one in South uh, Fargo. Thanks for uploading that. Now look at your planning forecast. And number one, the warm-up continues on Friday. Still some clouds, 18 degrees. Warmer still Saturday, the most enjoyable day of the seven-day period. And uh, yeah, Groundhog's Day, we'll enjoy it too. Then Sunday into Monday is when that next system from the Aleutians works its way in. A good chance of accumulating snow, but models disagree on all the details. Here is a look at another Arctic air mass coming our way as well. Here's that storm system. As we go from Sunday night when the snow begins and rains south, it comes with a lot of wind as well. So we're just letting you know to keep your eyes on that forecast as we will be doing here because if you have late weekend and early week plans next week, we could be dealing with more winter weather. I know, I know. I'm full of just fantastic news. You know, it's not perfect this weekend, but don't you think we need those 20s to kind of help oh, us get through the next thing that's coming? I, I don't know. I think I, I just want to run through a sprinkler. I'm thinking well, yeah, tomorrow that, night it's going to be seven below zero and how nice it's going to feel. I know. Relative. Yeah, you're grilling what now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. Exactly. All right, you bet.